it was a good win. We went in and we knew what Northern Arizona's dynamics was, that they really wanted to get the ball down the field to the two receivers. And we just kind of made them try and dink and dunk us all the way down the field. We went out there and played, shut down what we wanted to shut down and forced them kind of to do what they didn't want to do. You know, we came out in the first half of the game and we knew that we were going to attack them differently in the run game and it worked. I didn't see any adjustments that they made in the second half. It really was us. Uh, we missed some throws, we panicked with a couple pressures. So when you're not converting and you're not executing the base scheme and then you add penalties on top of it, you're going to have a half played out the way that it did. Both offenses, they kind of have different components and make them pretty different from each other, but at the same time, they both kind of have a pass-first style, and that's kind of what we have to focus on this week. Cooper Cup, he's a guy that, you know, he finds a way to create space. We just kind of have to slow play it, so we're not running up into the line of scrimmage. We're staying back at our depth. We've got to be able to be calloused on the road. We've got to be able to execute at a high level and be detailed and precise with our fundamentals. I expect a high-contact game. Uh, this is going to be the best D-line that we have faced, so we got our hands full there. It'll be a good challenge for us but the good thing is is we know what coverage they're going to be in we know when their pressures are coming how they're coming so it's about us recognizing those pressures and communicating our guys are hungry and i'm excited to see what they do this weekend